So, you think the origami killer killed Manfred? That makes sense. Didn't want him spilling his guts to us. And you suspect Gordy Kramer, right? Oh, him or one of his men. Gordy has the time and the means, not to mention the fucked up attitude to go along with it. He's only a suspect, but he's a pretty guilty looking one. Are these your files on the case? Yeah, I've been working on them for a couple of years. Uh, I built up a mountain of paperwork. Magazines about origami? You think the killer could have subscribed to one of those? If he was even remotely interested in origami in the last 30 years, his name may be in there somewhere. Trouble is, there's over 500 names. I guess a squat. I'm starving. Do you have anything to eat? Well, I'm no chef, but I should be able to make some scrambled eggs if you like. Great. I'm soaking wet. I need to warm up a little. Is it okay if I take a shower? I'll be my guest. Go to my bedroom. It's the next door. Oh, I'll cook up the eggs while you're under the shower. I took the liberty of borrowing your bathrobe. Looks better on you. I don't really like raw eggs. Maybe I should have told you. I'm sorry. I told you. I'm not a great chef. It's okay. What's that? The notebook I took from Manfred's place. According to this, about 30 clients bought spare parts for Royal Machines in the last 10 years. The killer may be one of them. Oh, you know, checking out the alibi of 30 clients one by one, that's a lot of legwork. Except that if we cross-check them with the list. The list of subscribers to Origami Magazines. You still got that, right? Yeah, yeah. Of course. Lauren, wait. If the killer really used a royal typewriter, and if he subscribed to an origami magazine, his name should be on both lists. Well, Lauren, uh, I mean, that's just an assumption, but yeah, I suppose. His name is here somewhere. Help me, we're gonna find him. The only guy whose name was on both lists died when he was 10. What are you gonna do now? Dig up his coffin, make sure he's dead? I know it doesn't make any sense. Unless the killer was only using his name. But why use the name of a kid who died 30 years ago? Well, that's what we came to find out. The name is John Shepard. It should be on a grave around here somewhere. You never give up, do you?
Time to look for John Shepard's grave. She's convinced she's onto something. And here's me, thinking we're wasting our friggin' time in this friggin' cemetery. I should be investigating Gordy Kramer right about now. And here I... Excuse me. I'm looking for the grave of a boy named John Shepard. Straight ahead. A little further out. Thanks. Hey, Lauren! I found it! These flowers are fresh. Looks like someone's still tending the grave. Origami figures. That's one hell of a coincidence. Oh, youngin. That one I knew well. You knew John Shepard? I've worked this graveyard nearly all my life. I remember what happened. It was in 77. October. again. What are we gonna do? It's pouring rain. We're gonna get soaked if we spend a day outside. Well, at least you won't get beat. Little rain never hurt nobody. Come on, let's go play. Bet you can't catch me! Mom won't be back from work till later. She wouldn't let him treat us like this. John's right. We can't just stand here all day. Might as well go and play. Being out in the rain is nothing compared to being in when he's like that.
to do this. It's too hard for you. No chance. I can do it all right. Just watch. Wait for me! Get a blue ball! Seek! You go and count to 20 and try to find me, okay? One, two, three, four, five, nine, thirteen, seventeen, twenty! Kid never did find any help. And his brother drowned in a park full of rainwater. The boy that lived, what happened to him? Well, all I know is he got separated from his parents. I, I think he got adopted. Well, looks like a storm's coming. I guess I better be getting home. Christ, what a horrible story. John Shepard drowned in the rain while holding his brother's hand. Do you think he... he could be the origami killer? Come on, let's get back in the car. There's nothing else for us here. Let's go. The kid died 30 years ago. Who's still tending the grave? Wait. What's the matter? That man over there. 
Yeah? He's Charles Kramer. Gordy's father? What's he doing here? Putting flowers on John Shepard's grave. 